overtime, Caitlin Clark, yes. But here's what the legends say. University of Iowa guard Caitlin Clark celebrates after making the game-winning shot against Michigan State on January 2, 2024. Matthew Holes slash Getty Images 1-0 If you've been following me over the last few weeks, you know that I've made a few things absolutely clear. Number 1. I love women, number 2 I love women's basketball, and number 3 I have great respect and admiration for Caitlin Clark, the scoring machine out of Iowa. And the all-time leading scorer in NCAA basketball history after passing Pistol Pete Maravich, eclipsing his 3,667 points with her new record of 3,702 and counting. She also has 55 30-point games, 17 triple-doubles, and she needs under 200 points to pass Pearl Moore, who scored 3,884 at Francis Marion College, 1975 to 1979, to set the overall AIAW record before the NCAA began governing women's athletics. Clark is averaging 32.3 per game, with 12 40-point games. She has declared herself eligible for the WNBA next season. 09 But hold on, wait a minute. Let's be reminded of several people who, for whatever reason, have been lost in time or simply, possibly innocently overlooked, Lynette Woodard, Pearl Moore, Kelsey Plum, and others. 08 Having said that, allow me to remind you once again about the great and legendary Pistol Pete Maravich. And for a few reasons. First of all, he's homegrown, straight out of Aliquippa, PA. Secondly, there's a reason his record has stood for 54 years. Simply put, who he was and what he did was unbelievable. Obviously a great high school player with legendary tales of him dribbling the basketball leaning out the car window while his dad drove the car, or his playing at night in pitch black dark to be in absolute control of the ball. But it was at LSU where the legend took on enormous proportions. 07 So, unless you've been under a proverbial basketball rock, you know he didn't play as a freshman due to the then NCAA rules. But, did you know in his first game as a freshman against the varsity team, he scored 42 points? By now you know he averaged 44.2 points a game in his three-year college career. But there was no three-point shot. Okay, maybe you didn't hear me. While playing Division I basketball at LSU in the highly competitive Southeastern Conference, the man is going to get 44 a game and there was nothing a scouting report could do about it. You can Google the rest of his 10 pages of records. Neither time nor space will allow me to do so now. 06 So, as a sidebar and a flashback, I am fortunate and privileged to tell you that when at my alma mater, Slippery Rock University, at the time the only sport that I cared about was football. It was the late summer of 1970 that I was introduced to the game of basketball by rock legends Ron Hunt and Jeff Lake that began my obsession with basketball for life. Oh, the memories of the good old days. Needless to say, I know you don't really care about this part, but it's my column, so you just have to shut up and take the bitter with the sweet. Anyway, that being said, and watch how I tie this all together. Had it not been for my newfound obsession, I would have never volunteered to work the youth basketball camp held at the historic Morrow Field House on campus in the summer of 71 when Pistol Pete Maravich was the special guest. It's important to point out, in case you're wondering, how and why Pete was at the Rock. It's because during that decade, Slippery Rock had one of the greatest basketball teams in the nation, and under the direction of coach Mel Hankinson had great respect and numerous NAIA Division II championships. Now, if you would just let me finish, of course the pistol put on a great shooting exhibition with all the drills and thrills. But what I will never forget is how he concluded his demonstration by putting five 50 cent pieces on the back of his hand, tossing them in the air and then snatching each one at a time in mid-air. It mystified everyone, especially the young campers but most importantly, spoke to his quickness and hand slash eye coordination. 05 Get to it Neil, will ya? Okay, okay, just relax. So to my point, 
given all her recent accomplishments, we applaud Caitlin Clark and give her all her props. But before you put her on the same basketball pedestal with Pete, here's a few things you need to know about Pistol Pete Maravich. Named College Player of the Year in 1970. Did not play varsity ball his freshman year due to the NCAA rule at the time. Even still, is the all-time leading NCAA Division I scorer with 3,667 points. That was accomplished before the adoption of the three-point line and 24-second shot clock. His per-game average was 44.2 points. He scored 60 or more points four times with the highest being 69 against Alabama. Yeah, I got your roll tied right here. It is estimated that had there been a three-point shot when he played, he would have averaged 54 points a game. As a freshman and a part of the LSUF, 